Hi, I'm Cedric from RayThings.com. This is the first video in a series about motion. Motion is a complex subject, and there's a lot of misconception about it. Hopefully, the next few videos are gonna help clear it up. Today's subject is how can we actually capture motion blur in a photo? It might seem easy at first, but matching what you see with your own eyes when following a moving object is not that straightforward. Motion all depends on the reference point and whether your eyes are moving at the same speed as the moving object. A good test to illustrate this is from testufo.com. First, fix with your eyes the top UFO without moving them. You're gonna see wide vertical lines. Then follow the second UFO with your eyes. You're gonna see a wide background with moving black squares. So what is happening here? In real life, when your eyes are following a moving object, that object will always appear centered in your field of view. On a screen though, the moving object is limited by the frame rate. It jumps from one point to another. At the beginning of a frame, the object appears centered in your field of view. But when your eyes continue to move, the object will shift slightly to the left in your field of view. That back and forth won't actually be perceived by the eye, assuming the frame rate is high enough. Instead, the eye is gonna perceive a blur starting from the beginning to the end position. We've now moved to our test room to actually show you what it looks like on a real TV. If we were to take a normal picture, it wouldn't really represent what we see with our own eyes, which is why the camera needs to move at the same speed as the moving object. We are using a camera slider to do so. If we take a normal picture, it looks like this, which is far from what we see with our own eyes. But if you take a picture while the camera is moving, it's gonna look like this. Which is a lot closer to what we see in real life. The difficulty in doing so is the camera needs to move at exactly the same speed as the moving object. Mark Rajon from Blurbuster.com invented a temporal pattern to help for this. The pattern is composed of four vertical lines, each displayed for one frame. The camera shutter speed is set to four frames. If we go too slow, you can see that the lines are tilted to the left. If we go too fast, the lines are tilted to the right. It's only if we got the exact same speed as the object that the lines are going to be aligned. So this is how we take our motion blur pictures for our reviews. The next few videos are going to go into more details on how to interpret these pictures and what varies between TVs. If you want to know more about motion, click the link in the description below. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel and see you next time.